Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this week's video, we are going to take a sketch that I started on the Polyan Trekker Mini, bring it into Logic, and then sort of flesh it out into a A section, B section, C section, so then we can arrange it down the road. And what we come up with today sounds like this. So I just went away on a trip and wanted to take away something with me that I could kind of noodle around on. I don't really like having my phone out a bunch. So I brought along the Polyan Tracker Mini. I've got tons of samples and sounds and everything like that in here. And also it has the new synths in there. And this video isn't sponsored by them, but I did take it away because I wanted to have something. And I come up with this little idea. For me, dance has always been an outlet. It's comforting and it's something that makes me feel like myself and makes me feel more in touch with how I'm feeling. Ever since that discovery, I knew that's what I wanted to be. So there you go. Super simple, just got a couple of samples, got a cool little vocal sample that I found and some other little bits and pieces. So I went and exported it into stems, pull it into logic and yeah, there we go. So let's turn this off and you can see on the table, we've got a couple of little bits and pieces we're going to use today. We're going to try and use the Mark IV for the chord mode. I talked about that in the last video. I really like it and I thought, hey, this is a good chance to showcase it in the context of working on a song. We have a little effects unit here from Boss, a little percussion thing. Um, I got hip to this from Green Velvet when we did the track together, so I thought I'd give this another run. And then I have this little microphone here with, got the shaker, we're gonna put that in, and then the rest will probably be just plugins for different sounds and stuff like that. So the first, thi first bit that I think we should work on is, so let's go through the tracks and we'll see what's, what we have. It comes with, the renders out the delay and the reverb. I mean, I've got some effects that I was sending to them, but for this, we're just going to turn them off because we're going to do that all within Logic. We have the kick, have the clap, hat, little percussive hit, this bass line, this little vocal synth thing, and then the vocal line itself. Something that makes me feel like myself and makes me feel more in touch with. So all together and... For me, dance has always been an album. And the only thing that I've done is I went and pulled down the kick and I pulled down the vocal a little bit. Super simple. And you can see I got no other effects running. And yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing that I want to look at is getting maybe a, a company chord progression and we're going to use the Mark IV and we're just going to feed that into a plugin. So let's open up my favorite. I'm going to go with the 106. And for you that have been watching a few of these videos, you know that I have a 106. But when I'm writing, I generally just go with a plugin and then I will then send that same MIDI to the hardware synth and then layer them up together. You might get close in terms of like the, the type of sound, but a plugin and the hardware, especially for the older synths, it usually is pretty different even if you have all the, effect, all the um, controls set the same. So for this, we're gonna, let's go to shift, we got chord map. Actually, before we do that, let's go scale. And for this, I'm in A minor. So we can go along and we'll just change this to A major and then just change this to a minor. So now on the screen, it's, I know it's like, actually, whoa, peeled that off. Maybe that can be a little bit easier to see now. We have A minor set. So if we go shift chord map, brings us to the chord settings. 
Now you can see as we play, we got A minor, E minor, C major, G major, but I want to maybe, uh, let's, let's go like this. And let's go. Let's write, get this line a little bit, this synth. We don't want a gate, we want an envelope. Maybe put the sub on. And So let's, maybe we'll go with Explore 2. Let's make it a little bit wider. Maybe the widest. Mm, maybe one down. And then put some chorus on. That's pretty good. Let's pull down the envelope a little bit more. And let's put a little EQ on there. So then we can kind of just tighten it up a little bit. You can see we got a lot of that low frequency and the bass, its bass is eating up a lot of that. So. down the volume a little bit. Maybe let's put, send it to a reverb. And those reverbs, if, if anybody's asking, we go X. I, this is a template I have set up and I already have these. I have a room ver reverb, medium, large, blah, 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 blah. And I have some delay set up as well. So when I am working and I want to reverb, I just send it over, done. So let's play it with the music and then we can kind of jam out with the pads and see what we get and kind of see some options and maybe we need to change the, the adventure and explore to maybe a different chord set. but. For now, let's just have a play around. For me, dance has always been an outlet. It's comforting and it's something that makes me feel like myself. It makes me feel more in touch with how I'm feeling. Ever since that discovery, I knew that's what I wanted to be. For me, dance has always been an outlet. It's comforting and it's something that makes me feel like myself. It makes me feel more in touch with I mean, that sounds pretty good. Let's record it in and we can go from there. For me, dance has always been an outlet. It's comforting and it's something that makes me feel like myself. It makes me feel more. And then what we can do is, let's just have a look in here. We can select all, go edit, trim, note force legato, and we're gonna, uh, we're going to keep the chords. So now it just gives us a little bit. So hopefully that attack should be triggered each time. For me, dance has always been an outlet. It's comforting and it's something that makes me feel like myself. It makes me feel more in touch with. It 
doesn't, maybe we can. up the vocal a little bit. For me, dance has always been an outlet. It's comforting and it's something that makes me feel like myself. It makes me feel more in touch with how I'm feeling. Let's keep it good. Discovery. Label what's going on. That's what I want it to be. For me, dance has always been is I'm hearing like a click every time. So let's select all these. Let's go in here, get in here and we'll just go fade out. Five. So hopefully we shouldn't. That's what I want it to be for me. Yeah, we don't get that click anymore. It's just put a little bit of a fade on there. You can see this one is probably the the base is probably the reason why it's getting that. Okay, so let's come along, add some more drums in here, and then what I'm going to use for this is something that I use a ton of, and that's Machine. And I have a bunch of packs loaded in, and what I like to do is just grab a pack i'll show you we can grab a sound i really like the lone forest it's like dub sort of and then just take a listen to the loops here i like that one so what i'm going to do is bring up this but we're going to get rid of a ton of stuff. Stabs are gone, synths gone. So now we just have like a couple of little hats and percussive bit. I like the rhythm of this, but I don't like how high it is. So let's come in here, let's go grab a sound, maybe perk. Maybe that will work. And then let's just bring down Let's go try four, maybe three, not four. Now we have that little percussive bit in the background there. These toms will have to be Tune, uh, like turn down a little bit, but I like the little effect of them. So I've pulled all those drums in. We can now just mute that or turn off that machine track. Come in here and we'll just tighten all this up. And then I'm going to grab all these drums bring them up into our little drum section and then we can just come in this is an open hat it's that percussive this is the noise And this is the sort of tom hit. I already know the tom hit needs to be pulled down a bunch. But now, so now we're growing this kind of rhythm a little bit more, the groove section. Not sort of worrying about EQ compression or anything that at the moment. Let's come in here. Maybe just take another look at this.
kind of like that thinned it out a little bit more. And from here, let's have a look at the shaker. Now for the microphone I'm using, it's this little, whoosh, we can get that in there. It's a little Akai M8 little microphone. It's rough and ready to go, but I, I kind of like the sound of it and I've used it in a bunch of productions and it's just super easy because it's flat. You can just sit it on the table. What I'm going to do is put it on low latency mode, which is this one. Now I'm not going to talk because it's going to get the talking into the microphone and get this weird thing. So I'm going to just do a couple of passes with the thing, kind of get a groove that I want and uh, we can chop it up and see how we go. I kind of like that. I was just playing around with different so we can kind of go this way and gets us one feel or this way it gets us another feel. So let's record in some and yeah, and then we'll just chop it up and see how we go. I like to in incorporate the sort of real world and you could probably hear when I turned on the mic, it is a little bit noisy in here. I've got like an air filter thing underneath and some other bits and pieces, but I think incorporating these real sort of elements, especially if you're all in the box with plugins and everything, adding this sort of noise can kind of give life to the track. So I just went with a more of a sort of, I don't know, a little bit something, a little bit easier. Uh, so let's cut this. Go take one and then we can just go flatten bring it out and let's just grab this bit here, little two bar section. Perfect. Let's just see how it goes with the crossover. Perfect. So let's do a little bit of EQ on this because when you do record, you're going to get some low end and stuff like that. You can see we've got all this. So bring it there and then also just take a little bit off the top because this isn't really doing anything. If I take that away, you can hear a slight difference, but in the mix, not a chance. And we can pull this down, put a little reverb on it. And then also let's put a compressor on here and we're going to sidechain compress this because it's got a lot of frequency, a lot of sound going throughout. So I'm okay, going my favorite sidechain, boom. And we've got this, turn this off. And I'm just increasing the release to kind of get that pumping with the kick. And there's a shaker. And let's bring this up here. Let's bring the hats with the other hats. I like this perk here. Go with the bass. I'm going to get that same side chain as I got here, just to kind of help the kick in the bass sit in a little bit better. And they want it. So we've got about three and a half dB of gain reduction there. And 
me decomp on this one. Let's. Just kind of getting that sort of rhythmic feel with the shaker. There we go. Pull that down a little bit more. I'm 50-50 on the pad at the moment, just the, the sound and the, the chords, but just for the sake of it, we're gonna keep pushing forward. So let's go with a 303. And again, I do have the 303 up here, but we are going to use a plugin just to write the line, it makes it a little bit easier. So we go into here. This one from Audio Realism, I really like it. We go MIDI mode. I'm gonna go note, so now. We come in here. And the bass line, so if we go kick, bass it's a two bar loop so i'm thinking maybe a two bar line and solo this but we'll see i'm just going to write to these two bits now but i want something felt relatively simple maybe it will be over two bars maybe you're just a single so and same same as i write most of my acid lines we're going to just got this so we've got all the notes select we'll just trim force the guide just so it gives it a little bit more of a gap in between and then i'm going to select them all mute them and then from here we can kind of yeah so here this is where i want the notes to kind of be Maybe this one. Yeah, let's just try that. And what we can do is come in and just kind of open this up. A little bit of decay. Got that one. Let's just and let's take out some of these lows. Maybe get like a little delay or something on there. Let's try. I mean, I really like this one by Native Instruments, which is weirdly the free one. That kind of bring out the mix, bring down the filter. <laughs> Oh, 
And maybe a little reverb on after it. So we go chroma verb. And then let's just go synth reverbs, ambient tail. too big so let's go like that bring the volume down a little bit Yeah, we got something kind of, it's kind of like a little accent line, not a lead line. I think that's pretty good there. So let's just see with the vocal. For me, dance has always been an outlet. It's comforting and it's something that makes me feel like myself. It makes me feel more in touch with how I'm feeling. Like ever since that, just put this little cut in here because the vocal that. kind of sits in that same range. For me, dance has always been an outlet. We'll bring up an EQ. You can see it, we're in that sort of same ballpark. is still a little bit loud. Kind of just adjust the volumes of each just to kind of get everything to sit and I, I think that's the, the way to go. So now, not that we need to do it, but we can just come across go minor. And for ease, all the white keys are just the, the, the minor keys, but I want to see, I want you to be able to see how I'm kind of coming up with a, a maybe a lead line. So There we go. For me, dance has always been an outlet. It's comforting and it's something that makes me feel like myself. It makes me feel more in touch with how I'm feeling. Ever since that discovery, I knew that's what I wanted to be. For me, dance has always been an outlet. It's comforting and it's something that makes me feel like myself. It makes me feel
Let's, let's record that in. For me, dance has always been an outlet. It's comforting and it's something that makes me feel like myself. It makes me feel more in touch with how I'm feeling. Ever since that discovery, I did. Good enough for government work. So let's have a look. I got a little bit. Let's bring this over. And then we can quantize it. For me, dance has always been an outlet. It's comforting and it's something that makes me feel like myself. First go. Boom. Get rid of that. Bring that over. And then let's these just increase a, a little bit. For me, dance has always been an outlet. It's comforting and it's something that makes me feel like myself. It makes me feel more in touch with how I'm feeling. Ever since that discovery, I knew that's what I wanted to be. For me, dance has always been an outlet. Let's pull this down a bit. So now it sounds pretty busy because everything is going at the same time, which is not what we want, but we're going to just put a little reverb on this. For me, dance has always been an outlet. It's comforting and it's something that makes me feel like myself. It makes me feel put this little delay on. So now we kind of have everything that we need. It's like making a sandwich. You kind of want to get everything out ready to then start to look at the arranging of that sandwich. Well, we're not going to arrange the track. We are going to sort of come up with the sections. So what we can do is, let's go, I like the pad and lead and the 303 for like a little breakdown. But that breakdown will be everything except the kick and bass probably. So if we mute that one out. For me, dance has always been an outlet. It's comforting and it's something that makes me feel like myself. And I can already hear in my head things like the 303 gone. Same, same as the pad. The pads, I, I would record in a bunch of filter mo uh, filters moving and stuff like that. I like This is a B part, possibly without the shaker in each. No vocal on the start and then no 303. Maybe even be too much with that. I would take out that perk. Move this all along. Maybe this, take out the kick, bring in the perk and shaker. And we're just kind of growing our sections. We've got this noise here. Let's. Just filter that and then put that same compressor on there. Not as much. So, uh, yeah, that's the mix. 
So we kind of have like a little bit of pumping, but also a little bit of the other sound as well. This is this bit here. We could come along at this. Got the vocal and then just put like a little filter on there. Fab filter simple on is really good because it's just super, there's nothing to it. It's super simple. So this, we want filter freak. Three oh three line, not yet. So I would pull this aside. I would put the pads in here. Pads here. Then all of this here. And I'm just kind of playing around with all of the ideas to see what comes together. And then as you kind of listen to a section and how it transitions to the next one and you can kind of go through, that's when you can kind of develop the arrangement by just doing sections like this. You kind of get the ideas and how they come together and everything. You could even bring that, comforting. take that out again, that vocal. Just like a little bit of a tease there. For me, dance has always been an outlet. It's comforting. I would have that there. And then we could bring this same vocal down. We're gonna copy it just to make sure we'll check the automation. We're good there. So I would have this and I would double it up. And on the second part is where I would bring in the lead. I knew that's what I wanted to be. For me, dance has always been an outlet. It's comforting and it's... And I would have this lead filter in instead of coming in pretty hard there. So we could just go like this. Simple on. Boom, we go filter freak. And there. That's what I wanted to be. For me, dance has always been an outlet. It's comforting and it's something that makes me feel like myself and makes me feel more in touch with how I'm feeling. Like ever since that discovery, I for me, dance has always been an outlet. It's comforting and it's something that makes me feel like Take out the shakers here. In touch with how I'm feeling. Like ever since that discovery, I knew that's what I wanted to be. And then we can go back to this. 
But on this one here, where she says that's what I wanted to be. Discovery. I knew that's what I wanted to be. This bit. Kind of go. Maybe here. Double it up. Come in here. Let's put a re. Uh, sorry, the delay on there. It's going to be all the way wet because we've already got the dry signal here. And on this one, I'm just going to pull it down. In touch with how I'm feeling. Ever since that discovery, I knew that's what I wanted to be. So I think we got something cooking there. only thing I'm going to change is the pad. Pad's a bit too too sad to go with the song and I want something a little bit more upbeat so I'm going to go back change it over but you got to see the ideas that I come together to get to this stage and then from here because I have an A, B, C, D and E part which can be like a build, drop, break, variation and all the other bits and pieces this makes it really easy to arrange because you have all the pieces you're just kind of playing tetris getting everything lined up and everything kind of where you need it to be so hopefully even though we didn't use a little space hand drum synth thing hopefully you got something out of this video and you can see how it is relatively easy to take an 8 bar loop into an idea and you can get ideas from your polyend or if you have another sort of all-in-one device, bring it into the computer and then like start to develop those ideas. At the moment, I would say this is about 30 to 40% done. It's still a lot of work, obviously going back, re-recording all the synths, kind of seeing what you want. And again, mainly that redoing that pad line, but we've got a bunch of ideas out. It's just under an hour and I think it's a pretty good day's work. So hopefully you got something out of this video. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them below, but 99.9% .9 of you probably didn't get to this part of the video, but that doesn't matter. Thank you to those who watched and hopefully this inspired you to create something today. And until next time, see you later.